Kenya's e-mobility is projected to grow by 5% by the year 2030 as the country looks to ditch use of fossil fuels and embrace clean energy as one of the ways to fight climate change. Now, it's this desire that has seen ventures like Rome Electric set base in Kenya and continuously provide solutions aimed at enhancing e-mobility. The latest is Rome's second-generation Rome Air motorcycles, an improvement to its first-generation bikes. Edward Chair visited Rome Electric and now tells us about these improvements. Rome Electric, one of Kenya's electric vehicle makers, has made an upgrade to its first-generation Rome Air motorbikes, which it launched when it set foot in Kenya in 2017. The new second-generation ROM Air motorbikes have been designed with the input of the border-border sector, which plays a crucial role in the transport industry in Kenya. We decided this time round we are going to involve the end user who are the border border riders. So we collected a lot of feedbacks, did a lot of trials uh, based on their use case scenarios. Joel Amboka is one of the border border riders who gave his input on the improvements needed for the second-generation ROM Air bikes. With this in mind, Rome made the needed improvements to make its second generation Rome air bikes more efficient, appealing and user friendly. We didn't have a lockable compartment for it. So that's one major improvement we did. We redesigned the bike to be able to support more load. Now the bike can carry 240 kg. We have uh, made a total of 40 upgrades in the bike. Kwa sahi yenye mekuja sahi, betri yake ikinakuja na loko. Kwa hivyo, utakone jilokia lo, betri yako, haina wasuwasi. Tangi ya sahi, imekwa vizuri na inavutia. Lukaya says, despite the changes to the second generation bikes, their pricing has remained the same and now they look forward to sourcing all the required raw materials locally to cut production costs and give value to their customers. This was a very good uh, opportunity for us to build the local capacity mm-hmm. and uh, by building the local uh, supply chain, we are able to maintain the cost of the bike. The second generation bikes come with two batteries and a charger for each, and now riders can charge them either at the comfort of their homes or swap the batteries at various charging stations in Nairobi. Currently we have uh, 15 stations in Nairobi that offer 24 hour services for charging. The bike can cover between 100 and 120 uh, kilometer range. Lukaya says Rome looks forward to putting more electric bikes into the Kenyan market with plans to increase their production capacity. Currently we are doing 20 bikes at day. Uh, We are building up a supply chain to be able to get to a point where we can do 80 bikes a day with uh, two shifts. We are looking at expanding within our regions, uh, scaling up operations and opening multiple locations uh, within Africa. The border border sector is one of the key pillars of the transport industry in Kenya. Now, with the country looking to move into e-mobility, Rome Electric is playing a pivotal role in making sure that this sector fully embraces electric mobility. Edward Chwea, Made in Kenya, Citizen TV.